The crucifixion of Jesus and the events leading up to it are described in the first four books of the New Testament of the Bible, otherwise known as the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. According to Matthew, Jesus predicted his own death, which was part of a divine plan to provide salvation to the sinful species of humanity. Jesus explained to his disciples that he needed to go to Jerusalem, where he would suffer and die at the hands of the law, in order to rise again on the third day. He explained his upcoming death as a necessary sacrifice to help others. Jesus' disciples agreed to accompany him to Jerusalem as he asked. Jesus had been preaching, and many Jews had started to follow his teachings. Many of them started believing he was indeed the Son of God, or the Messiah, and some started calling him the King of the Jews. The existing religious and political authorities were nervous and felt threatened when they saw how popular Jesus was becoming. A few days after arriving in Jerusalem, Jesus shared the Last Supper with his disciples, where he predicted one of them would betray him and assist in his arrest by Roman soldiers. After the supper, his disciple Judas Iscariot kissed Jesus in order to give his identity away to some Roman soldiers, who then arrested Jesus. First, Jesus had a trial before the Sanhedrin, a Jewish judicial body. There, he was found guilty of several crimes, including violating Sabbath law, by healing on the Sabbath, which is supposed to be a day of rest and not working, sorcery, performing exorcisms, threatening to destroy the Jewish temple, and claiming to be the Messiah. However, after this trial, Jesus was then taken to the Roman governor, Pontius Pilate, to be tried for claiming to be king of the Jews. This was considered rebellion against the king, a crime punishable by death through crucifixion. The Bible says that the crucifixion of Jesus occurred after he was arrested and charged with claiming to be king of the Jews, which was considered a betrayal of the king and punishable by death. Jesus was whipped, carried his own cross, hung between two thieves, pierced in the side, and given a crown of thorns to wear. He died within a few hours. During a crucifixion, a person is attached to a large cross or beam, with their legs pointed down and their arms either stretched to each side like a cross, or stretched above their head. The person was then left on the cross, guarded by soldiers, in a public place until they died, which could take anywhere from a few hours to a few days depending on how much they were abused